a lot more complicated than you're used to, Hugh, so you're going to have to obey instructions to the letter. I know you're terribly good at that. Thanks, Dave. Today is I'm, I'm ready to learn. And what's the first thing we have to do? First thing is to heat 13 litres of water to precisely 76 degrees. That's half the total liquid. There's more to come later. So we'll end up with about 25 litres of beer. 50 pints in old money. I oh, know, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. And those pints are still a long way off. Mm, it's quite nice to nibble on this malted barley. You, get, you can taste that sweetness. Um, people make fermented stuff. They just chew for a few minutes and spit it out. So they have something they can brew from. And that feels more the direction we should be going to me, the chewing and the spitting, rather than the precise temperatures uh, and the scale. Yeah, it, it is another level, but I think it's downwards. Oh, dear. No, I do <laughs> think so. <laughs> After what seems like a long wait, it's time to see if the water is hot enough for the next step. It's, it's there, is it? It's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. Okay. Quick, turn it off. Four kilos of malted barley go in with another 12 litres of water. After a good stir, it's wrapped up in blankets to keep it warm. Well, I think it's going to be lovely and snug in there. An hour and a half later, we filter our brew through a mash bag. There's loads of sugar left in this, so we're going to actually add water. It's called sparge, and you sprinkle it over the top. John and I slowly add some hot water until we have 25 litres of sweet, malty liquid known as wort. Don't waste that. You don't want to waste that. This is going to be beer. Exactly. Really? This malty liquid contains the vital sugars for fermentation, but it's not there yet. Back on the heat it goes, and when it's reached the boil again, 200 grams of brown sugar goes in, along with 10 grams of dried hops. That hoppy smell is instant, isn't it? You won't actually retain that hoppy smell from what you will get from it is the bitterness. So that needs uh, an hour, an hour on the boil. So how many of these black wreaths are going in this beer? I presume it's got to be a very precise amount. No, for once you're off the leash, you can put in whatever you like, but I guess about three kilos. About three kilos. Yeah. So that's three kilos. But you said it didn't have to be precise, so let's just say no, no. a few more for luck. That's enough. Just, just put them down. Behave yourself. All right, so we're going to squidge, are we? Yeah. We should get to know each other quite well doing this, Phil. It is rather romantic, isn't it? Isn't it? All in the cause of good beer. Yes. Back with our wort, after an hour of boiling, in goes another 10 grams of hops and a teaspoon of carrageen, a dried seaweed that should stop the beer from going cloudy. After boiling for a further 10 minutes, we're adding a third and final sprinkling of more aromatic hops. It's this, along with our lovely blackberries, that will give the distinctive flavour to our beer. All of it in? Yeah, a lot. Look at that colour. The fruity mixture's infused for 40 minutes and we're almost there. Our wort is strained, cooled rapidly to 20 degrees, at which magic temperature a sprinkle of brewer's yeast should turn wort to beer in the coming days. See you in five days. <laughs>